So I wanted to talk today about design and inspiration and I'm often asked where do I get my inspiration and where does it come from? And I think uh, not many of you will know but I have a number of businesses under my roof here uh, in the heart of Knightsbridge in Cheval Place and one of them is Luxury Business Sphere and we host a summit which we'll be hosting uh, um, this October. Um, and that really is a much wider world than the interior design world. It's the world of uh, beauty and luxury and luxury goods. And I think that this is a challenge uh, that's faced by anybody working in the luxury uh, sphere. In fact, to be honest, anybody who's designing is, you know, how do you come up with original design? Um, you know, the, with the world of the internet, uh, Instagram, you know, there is a lot of kind of copycat design going on at the moment. And I lecture in interior design and I feel quite passionate when I'm lecturing to students. Uh, about getting across to them the importance as a designer of coming off coming up with original design. I mean, I I see it a lot. You know, you, you you we do a design here, and then we'll see a lot of versions of it out on uh, on the social media. And for me, then that means uh, that we're on to the next thing. We never stop learning here. We're always looking for new and interesting design ideas, finishes. Um, yeah, the world is a small place, but I think if you are out there being inspired, then I think you can really make sure that you're keeping ahead of your game. I think that's a duty as a designer to give our clients uh, original ideas and things to think about. So my advice to any designers out there, whether you're designing a, a watch, um, a beautiful dress, a handbag, or an amazing interior, is to take your inspiration from wherever you go, uh, travel a lot, keep your sketch pad with you, um, and just see if you can come up with something really original and thought-provoking.